Oh, I just noticed we're dressed alike today. <laughs> but more importantly, here's the young woman I want you to meet. I mean, oh, after interviewing her and everything, I mean, she had me crying even though she was such a terrific person and doing such important work. Uh, she's only just like two years out of college. Uh, her parents were both uh, drug addicts and, you know, were unemployed most of the time, and she was able to get a scholarship to go to art school in Detroit. You know, Detroit's a struggling city. And while she was in art school, she had an idea. Uh, she was designing stuff, and she wanted to design something for homeless people, a coat that could really double as a sleeping bag. It's a very clever idea. So right out of school, she started a nonprofit really to do this you know so she has no fancy credentials or knows anybody no money or anything and just starts this nonprofit and what's neat about it not only she gives uh, these useful coats that double as a sleeping bag to homeless people she hires homeless people to make them you know, and it's just a wonderful story. She's an incredible person. She was one of the 10 CNN women, visionary women of the year. And she was telling me how she was just on a program with, uh, uh, gosh, it was this famous, ah, Gloria Steinem. So you, my wife told me, I'm an old guy, forget even Gloria Steinem. And she had a cute story to tell about her. Anyway, this is the, what's happening to her. She's so down to earth. It doesn't affect her at all. She's wise beyond her years. She knows nobody's got secrets. And she's just out there doing this stuff. With no money, no nothing. You know, just an idea. And she didn't even get money to do it. You know, she just figured out how to piece it all together and make it work. Uh, and that's what we all have that power to do this. We live in a country that allows us to do this. If we use our imagination <laughs> and get out of our own way to just make it happen. So watch this. It's one of the most special interviews I think I've ever done. This person is really yeah, remarkable what she did. I mean, she's an inspiration for the rest of us to, to go from X to go to triple X <laughs> or whatever in your life. And it just takes perseverance and, you know, the right kind of attitude. We all have enough skills if we just don't use them. So watch this. Well, Veronica Scott, man, empowermentplan.org. Man, when I first read about you, I mean, I was, I told you earlier, I was so jealous. I've interviewed so many people. And I, I think, seriously, I, I've never met somebody who's doing something so cool, but also so important. I mean, you found work for the rest of your life, something you could pour your heart into, no matter what happens, because you don't have to worry, because you have to know that what you're doing is so important. And, and, and you're only two years out of college, have no background in anything you're doing. That's another thing that pisses me off about you. <laughs> you're doing this with, without any experience or context or anything, just something you wanna do. So what's the basic principle? What are you doing here? Uh, what we're doing in here, and, and thank you for having me. <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure. Uh, you know, what we're doing here in Detroit is really about kind of showcasing that the homeless population that everybody kind of marginalizes uh -huh. and casts aside as worthless or really a lot of the time less than human is, is really, really there, really present. They do have drive. They do have ambition. They do want to be able to take care of themselves. And that is the main message with the Empowerment Plan is that everybody has pride and everyone wants to take care you know, really be able to care for oneself. And so what we do is we actually hire homeless parents out of shelters and we train them in sewing as well as some newer things now in like 3D modeling and coding. Oh, wow. Huh. But we produce a sleeping bag coat. So it's a coat by day, sleeping bag by night, and over-the-shoulder bag in the off-season. And we distribute those nationally right now and we have some international demand. So it's, it's a very exciting time. Well, I mean, but it's now you were a design student in design college, and mm -hmm. it sounded like you came from a troubled home and got a scholarship to mm -hmm. go to this school, correct? So you really didn't have a background in, in money yeah. or finance or entrepreneurial or anything. Just get your ass through life is really, really yep, exactly. <laughs> the, exactly. the main thing. 
and you get out of college and, and you're using your design school uh, techniques to build this jacket that doubles as a sleeping bag yeah. for people who are homeless. Yep. Because people could be homeless for years and years and years. Yes. Sometimes, as your literature says, up to 20 years. I mean, I see the same people on the street. Yeah, it seems like forever. Exactly. No, it's, yeah. it was a class project in college, actually. Wow. The coat was designed in a class project. And it's really interesting because it was a very hard decision to actually say, what? I'm going to do this. I'm, uh, when I graduated from college, it was a class project. And like you said, I didn't have any finance background, <laughs> any business experience. And it was funny because in my mind, all I thought I needed was like, oh, I had, I had a nickname on the streets in Detroit as the oh, crazy really? coat lady. Ah, I see. Or the, or the coat lady. People were coming up to uh -huh. me asking when they were going to get coats. Because and you were going around uh, designing doing your market them. research. <laughs> yeah, yes. I was actually, no, it was, it was designed with I see. the community on the streets. Yeah. And so when I graduated, it was a very difficult decision to tell my family, friends, everybody, and including myself, I'm not going to look for another job. Uh, I'm not going to apply to work elsewhere. My grandparents, I think, took that the hardest. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, well, what if you get offered a job that pays you money? <laughs> I'm like, I am going to have to send a sad resignation. <laughs> sad note saying no. But it was about saying to myself, it's like, okay, I realized at that point no one else was going to take it on. Yeah. No one else was going to take on my crazy coat thing that yeah. people were just beginning to understand. No one would understand why I was doing it. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, this is, I'm one, I'm the only person that will do this. No one else yeah. is going to take it on. And two, we have so much, much momentum. There is no coming back later. I won't come back later to do this. And you know what? It seems like everybody likes the idea and all, all we need now is money. And, <laughs> and how an, can we give you money? How as, can we work it out? How can we do that? And as an art student, it was a really funny thought because I knew nothing about you know, money and finance. <laughs> I was like, the, to me, that was the next business step. I, I knew see. nothing. And so it, it was really about taking that risk and saying, worst case scenario, you know, at that time, I was living with my grandparents in their basement, basically, uh -huh. like in their house. <laughs> and I had no money, no nothing. It's like, worst case scenario, I am still exactly where I am now. Yeah, you get another job that you're going to hate. Yeah, and I will, have, <laughs> I will have a college degree. Right. I will be in a lot better position. Yeah. I will not be in debt. There's, yeah. This is far better position than most. Yeah. So worst case scenario isn't that bad. So why yeah. not go for it? But more and importantly, so I think you have now something to devote more energy, creativity, and everything inside your soul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> everything, every day of your life, instead yeah. of waiting for Friday at five to happen. You know, <laughs> I think that's, it's so funny. One, because my friends and all of my age, my right. age group are constantly saying you have the dream job. Absolutely. And I, I completely agree. And actually, I was two days ago, I was in New York, and I actually got to hear Gloria Steinem talk about oh, something. Oh, you did? Wonderful. She was, we both received an award from Oh, Diane you were on the dais yeah. with Gloria Steinem. See, that's yeah. someone my age, right? Yeah, and she's, she's, she's a pretty good-looking 80-year-old, isn't she? She looks amazing. Um, you know why, amazing. though? I think because she's doing something she loves to do every day. And that's exactly what she said, though. That was the best part, was because people are saying to me, they're like, oh, you're sacrificing so much. This is so hard. And her response to that, because she obviously hears it a lot, too. Yeah. People are like, oh, you should retire. Be done with doing yeah. this good stuff. Now it's time for you. Yeah. And, and she said, you know, point blank to them, she's like, you know, one, this is more fun for me than anything else in the world. And I'm not sacrificing a fucking thing. <laughs> and at this point, I was going, that's exactly how Absolutely. I feel. This is not some Absolutely. weird, you know, martyr no. situation where I'm just, no. oh, I no. must sacrifice everything. No. <laughs> this brings so much more to me. Absolutely. And it does so much more for what creative, like creatively right. too. This is not well, just something that I go in and check out, right. you know, at no, five. Because so I think screwing all with of you. it <laughs> all around is just fun. And that hearing her swear was yeah. my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, that word wasn't there written down in my speech, but <laughs> wanted to tell you because 
That's a, oh, as soon so as we get true. off, I got to tell my wife about that because yeah, she's, it's, it's so she's true. A, and uh, an idol of it, uh, hers. You know, growing up the way I did in situation of of poverty and financial stress yeah. and financial strain within with my parents that are still to this day unemployed. It is it is difficult to go back into yeah. the field. And initially, I think it I thought of it as like, is this a sacrifice? Am I doing something that's going to be tough for me? And it it never has been. No, I, I, it, never it, took will me, be. it took me two failing businesses or whatever. And I, I always felt the same thing. I mean, if you find something you love to do, you'll give more. And giving is the most important thing in life. It makes you feel the best. <laughs> and everybody wants to, like, play basketball against a five-year-old. I mean, that's easy. Everybody wants an easy life, which is stupid. <laughs> everybody play basketball against a five-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> everybody... You know, everybody says they want that easy life, and very few yeah. people actually realize once they're in it, and they've been in it too long. Yeah, it's boring as shit. And, and they can't, <laughs> they can't seem to get out of it because they're too right. Dumb. Yeah. And, well, now let's help you, okay? Because all it takes is a hundred bucks to get a homeless person a coat, and to give a homeless person a job. Mm -hmm. That's all it needs, and that's what your group, you know, empowermentplan.org is all about. Yep. And I think no matter if people are thinking about giving or not, uh, but is to look at that product you made, yep. because that is so important uh, on your website to see how you designed, you know, just a, what looks like a normal coat that folds into a sleeping bag. I mean, like everybody in crowdfunding on Kickstarter, you're smarter than all those eggheads from Silicon Valley, you know, <laughs> who are making things that, you know, make my phone wash my dishes or something yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That would be good. Uh, I don't know. I like that idea. Um, but that's, but, yeah, it, but, doesn't take, it doesn't take much to, to give yeah. back, see the effect of what you're doing. We were funded for the first year from people donating $5, $10, on wow. PayPal, you no know, kidding. Yeah, yeah. So we were, we were. I didn't ask a single person for a donation, and now wow. it's at that point where we, you know we have to. But you know, everything really no, counts, so and that hundred dollars goes everything. to yeah. the I mean, coat it, as well as the people making it. Making it because you see, I mean, you are staff of twenty five now. You know, and, and most of these people are people who are homeless women that you taught a trade, a skill. You know, and gave them a home and everything. So it's not yeah. only giving homeless to keep build jackets. You already yeah. have, you know, twenty some people that you are giving new life. You know, and there's think, nothing. You know, government's not doing that. You are. <laughs> I'm, I'm giving them I, the best way I can say it is I'm giving the tools to yeah. do that because oh, they're the it. ones Absolutely. that find the new home. They're the ones. Yeah. Every single person we hire, no one knows how to sew when we hire them. They can yeah. make a coat in an hour and a half, wow. three months later. Uh, and in the same three months, they're usually three to six months. They're in housing. They found they wow. found an apartment yeah. or home, and they they were coming from the shelter and yeah. in their new home within three to six months. Every single person we've ever hired, and yes, that's that's us and working with them. But that's also the people oh, that we absolutely. find. But you're you're you know sparking that you know to yeah. help, and that's what why we need each other in life. <laughs> I mean, we all have capabilities, but sometimes we need help to. To exactly. get us going in the right way, and, exactly. and nothing is more important for you to do with life, Veronica. I just thank you for doing this. I'm gonna cry, so I'm gonna <laughs> get off of this. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you Let so me much. get off. So I gotta get people to go to empowermentplan.org. Okay. All uh, right. Send them our way. Thank need you so more much. You, Veronica. Thank you. Now, isn't she a delight? Yeah, well, that's an inspiration. You want to give her a hundred bucks, get a coat, get somebody a job. I mean, that's the way this kind of place is, uh, if you're going to donate this money to something, is the place. But, you know, go see their videos, see what they're really doing, uh, to be inspired about how you can solve a problem. She saw a problem in her community and said, hey, I could do something to fix that. You know, if we all look around to do that, <laughs> It's done. We don't point at somebody else to solve the problem. You just go out and do it.